everybody thinks they can do one of these things. It's a podcast, a pot, podcast. So my daughter does up there in Humboldt County. Well, she says that her kids are growing like weeds. Not a good word choice. <laughs> What's going on here? Uh, we are we're having trouble with the the letter O. Osama bin Laden, Obama, Osawana. What's her name? The girl that's bothering Trump now. Can you imagine having someone follow you around all day, taping everything you say? Well, it's like marriage. <laughs> I wouldn't want that. <laughs> See, I'm Italian. We, even Italians, we used to wear a wire. We're, we've, even, we, we've gone contemporary. We're now wireless. We don't walk around with those things. We don't want anybody to hear what we're saying. <laughs> it's amazing how we are now in a society of everybody sticking their nose in everyone else's business. And in the middle usually is a lawyer, right down the center there. And what happened to Les Moonves, the guy from CBS and all that scandal? Boy, they, got, they quieted that down pretty quick, didn't they? Well, when you're, when you're the chairman of the board of the biggest media company in the world, you kind of control the board a little bit. <laughs> and you know, the other guys were just players. You know, I see the trouble is we're all in the play. I happen to be in the wings, but I, I know that there's a spotlight gonna fall on me somewhere. Probably like in the Phantom of the Opera and kill me. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. You gotta be careful because no matter what you say or where you go, you have someone taping you, videotaping you, someone who is going to go to a lawyer, someone who's going to take you to court, someone who's going to shoot you. <laughs> what a world we live in, right? I mean, every, whoever thought that the teachers were going to be armed? <laughs> Do you ever think that with a nun? I have the sister, Mary Charles Bronson. Now, there, now she would, I would have believed she'd have a weapon, besides that rosary that she used to swing back and forth with, with the cross on the end. Oh, that would do it. Oh, boy, you would, you'd, that would be detention. <laughs> I'll tell you something. I, I got hit on the head a lot by the priests, though. See, the priests were regular guys uh, in school because they were like us. They smoked, and they're not supposed to. Not in the classroom, you know. Not, not Maybe they do now. <laughs> now they probably light up, you know, or, or fire one up, as we used to call it. I don't know. But the, the nuns were, they were the ones who, who towed the line. Now, when we had the nuns, we didn't have to pay a lot for hospitals because they worked free. And when we had the nuns in school, they worked free. So we didn't have all of these problems. Plus, you know, you could get knuckled or noggined by a nun and you would never tell your mother because she would do the other side. <laughs> that's, that's how family life was. And then if you went in, in your neighborhood and said something to the guy next door, he would kick you in the butt for the two sides that you got hit with <laughs> to further it so you wouldn't forget. But we don't have that kind of monitoring anymore. Now everybody's on their own. We all make it up as we go. And we are, are I, I become my own boss. I, I'm, when, when you get that application that says, uh, who employs you, I put self-employed because I'm my own boss. I work for me. And then it says, where do you get your checks from? I work for me. <laughs> there's no money in being self-employed. And there's no glory in being your own God in your life either. <laughs> You're gonna run the show. I like uh, uh, Doug Sauter, our minister, said something last week. He says, you know, uh, Noah's Ark was two of a kind. And they all lived on that boat for about a year, everybody, including Noah's family, all of his family. And everybody that came off the boat then had children, and then we had society. That's where it came from, because everybody was gone off the earth after Noah, after the flood. They, we, were all, we were gone. And the boat landed after about a year on dry land after they sent a search party out. And then it got back into, uh, what did they send, a dove? Yeah, that's it. The dove of peace went out. That's where it came from, probably. So everybody got off the boat, and we all uh, started to propagate, and that's how we got society. So you, if you really want to look at this properly, we all, just, we all got off the same boat. We, we all just got off the boat. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> so don't be giving me this immigration stuff, or ignoration is more like it. All right, that's it. I, I've said enough today to earn a living. I'm self-employed, you know. <laughs> I have to go in the other room, make myself some coffee. I have to go make my own dinner. I have to go write myself a check. 
and I'm going to go to my own bank and cash it too. Hey, it's a rental's wrap.